already know. Okay. So, yeah. Called Balance Beam. And so I wrote this poem a little before MGMC kind of got started. And then through the process of MGMC, I was able to finish it. And it's just a poem about my struggle of being both black and Muslim. So, balance beam. <laughs> Gym class, 2009. A young girl steps in to face her biggest fear yet. She thinks to herself, nothing can hold her back from this kind of success, can tell her she can't do it, can scare her away. Nothing but the balance beam. <laughs> she hops onto it hoping it would be just as easy for her as it was for the other kids. She wishes for one single chance to prove to the rest that she could maintain balance. She crosses her fingers that no one would laugh. Little does she know that with one foot comes the stumbling of another, that we are not all as nimble as Jack, that this beam was not made for victory on her part. There never seems to be victory on her part, only obstacles. But she dodges these obstacles. No bullets, it's matrix. Puts on costumes to make everyone comfortable, it's white chicks. Doesn't know how to choose one thing over the other. Twilight, eclipse, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to critique my life as a movie, but nowadays I can't separate fantasy from reality. And all my energy is concentrated on what I can't have, and what I do have is something most can't handle. I can't handle. I'm black. I'm proud to be black, scared to be black. I'm black. They tell me I'm beautiful in my skin, but how far does beauty roll off your tongue? They tell me diversity is what completes their community. Accepting is different from tolerating. They tell me I will never again be considered below them, but our bodies have sunk before. You engulf us whole, still assuming we'll make it in time for a breath of air. And it takes no time for you to swivel your head around and look at me whenever slavery is mentioned. Black blood, the only blood that is visible? Look at me. I'm not only black, I'm Muslim. I brush those terrorist jokes off my back, but all the body is connected. Though you may not see it, my heart just died a little. <laughs> I brush those terrorist jokes off my back, but all the body is connected in front of the back is the heart. Though you might not see it, my heart just died a little. And yes, these are the jokes that you and your friends whisper as if I am blind, deaf, mute. Honey, I would respond if I could, but I have been taught that silence is sometimes better. But I can't stay silent when Islam is our new unit in school. Did you need help pronouncing the words Quran, Hajj, and Allah? <laughs> By the way, it's Quran, Hajj, and Allah. My point is, when I'm not running away from the sirens warning me, get away, you don't belong because you're black, I'm running away from the voices telling me, you clearly don't belong, you're Muslim. I'm convinced that there are two TV screens in my house, and when one is off, the other automatically goes on. You see, white folks never hesitate to tell black Muslim people who they are and what they do. Sometimes I shift my weight to one side of the scale because I appreciate one part of me over the other. Will I ever appreciate both simultaneously? It's hard enough being one color, one person, one identity, imagine being two. And no, this is not a cry for help because you had your chance, but you didn't. This isn't some child screaming for stupid attention because you didn't dare look. This is not just a poem informing you of what you do because you already know. This is me telling you that my life isn't Hannah Montana. It's not the best of both worlds. This is me telling you that my voice is the only thing that matters. And I'm going to use my voice to tell you I'm both black, Muslim, in a world where it's hard, no, exhausting, to find balance on a balance beam. Oh